myself in the Peak District once again and uh, I've decided to come and visit uh, this amazing place called the Roaches and uh, it was just really grey and muggy earlier when I left Southampton but this now is just turning into a beautiful evening. I am about an hour behind where I need to be though and uh, got delayed on the way up here and uh, so that means I'm in a bit of a rush. And up here on my left this is where I'm heading up to and uh, I can see someone climbing the rocks up there probably can't see because they look really tiny on it there's clearly an issue with scale here these rocks are much bigger than they appear to be of course really the best place to photograph something like this is not on the place itself um, but I'm hoping to get some views out across this landscape here through you know using some of these really beautifully shaped rocks as, uh, as foreground Let's see how we get on. Over there to my right is, I believe that's called Hen Cloud. It's clearly a very popular route. Well, I really am properly kicking myself at the moment. I needed to be here an hour ago and uh, turned into a really nice sunset, but I haven't been here to, to make the most of it. Still, there's a little bit of time left. I might be able to make something of it, but it's been a bit of a scramble up and I'm really not in the best position here to capture this, but uh, I'm gonna do what I can. I may go a little bit higher. This has been such a spectacular fail tonight, um, just because of timing. And, uh, another lesson learned, really. Uh, because this has been such a spectacular fail, I think I'm going to have to come back. Uh, I may come back tomorrow. Such a shame. It's such a beautiful place. And I'm half inclined to just come and explore this place so that I can get some compositions thought through for when I will have time because at the right time of day because it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and uh, it's just so unusual and the rock formations are brilliant and it's big and it's the sort of place you need to wander around and I think you need to get to know it to be able to make the most of it I may, I may rescue one or two shots out of here that will just be kind of keepsakes if I was here. Uh, but I certainly haven't got anything that I think I'm, I'm going to want to print uh, or to publish. Well, hello again folks. After yesterday's um, little catastrophe or disaster of a shoot, uh, I've come back today and the time is at 25 past 12. So well, I'm going to move this. More sheltered, I think. So I've come back, and because uh, um, I'm one of those I will not be defeated kind of guys, really. So I've changed a few things. Uh, firstly, I've allowed about um, five hours more than yesterday. So I'm going to do a bit of exploring first. 
So uh, I think I'm going to enjoy today. I've got lots of uh, food and drink with me, so I shouldn't get hungry and tired and all that kind of stuff either. Uh, so I'm looking forward to a, to a good day's shoot. I'm planning to be here. I'm planning to be here until sunset. Sunset's at six o'clock. I'm conscious at the moment I'm here at midday, which in theory isn't great in terms of light. Uh, but actually, do you know, I think I've become a bit of a light snob lately, so I'm going to challenge myself to get some nice shots here today. A bit of sky drama with the low cloud. So I'm just waiting for the sun to light the mid-ground here. It's very, sh in, very much in shadow or shade in the, in the mid-ground and the foreground and in the sun in the background. And I'd really like to see some of this sunlight come this way. Also, I think I'm going to need a graduated filter on this one. I might use a hard grad. There's lots to do here, but I've got to say uh, that for someone who suffers a bit from vertigo, um, <laughs> this is challenging me. I must admit, there's one or two kind of knee trembling moments. I'm perfectly safe, really, but my brain isn't telling me that, and uh, or at least my body isn't telling me that. So <laughs> it's stretching me. It is stretching me. I'm loving it. Um, the light's a bit harsh, you know, but um, but it's great to be out here and have an opportunity to just just see this amazing place. I love it. So um, I've just spent the last couple of hours really up on Hen Cloud, I think it's called, and um, I'm going to head over to the other side over there. I'm going to head over to the other side of this little range of uh, rocky outcrops um, known as the um, brain's gone the roaches and um, see what it looks like uh, from the other from the other direction well this has to be the definition of risk assessment I think <laughs> taking a party of school kids bouldering up on these on these stones up here, up on these boulders. Great fun, love it. Do you know what? I just think it's brilliant that there are teachers, adults who are prepared to, to do this because I think all too often um, it's the sort of activity that would just not get done because it's deemed to be too risky. Isn't that brilliant? Fantastic. I stopped here because uh, there's a lone tree down there and um, I've been wanting to isolate it with the long lens and uh, I've, I had just been waiting for the light to be right um, for it to be highlighted from behind as it is now but in shadow itself to kind of it and I've um, I've widened the aperture right up to f 2.8 as far as it will go to try and just throw the background out of focus so that's difficult at this distance because it's about a couple of hundred yards away from me but um, really just trying to isolate that tree in the landscape sitting above all those fields behind so it can all get a bit tiring you know this photography work and uh, so I decided actually it's time for a brew so I've just nipped back to the car it's not very far and um, 
put on the camping stove and we're gonna have a nice cup of tea and then I'll get back to it. So I decided that having made a nice cup of tea, I might as well have a cup of soup, uh, a big soup while I'm here as well. This is a good idea. It was really nice to just take the weight off for a little while. Get a bit of energy back. Stores your creativity, I think. I just caught sight of this boulder here. It's about the size of a house, as you can see from, from that thing there. And uh, someone has carved steps into it uh, to be able to climb under it, uh, up it. Well, I made it to the top. I was starting to see the first hints of colour in the sky. A bit of a messy sky at the moment. And it's just a little bit thick on the horizon there, so I'm a little bit concerned that actually we're going to end up with a bit of a, a rather murky sunset, but we shall see. Well, it's sunset and sadly, um, just sort of dying away to a dull grey. So what I feared was that the um, we'd just end up with this grey cloud on the horizon and that's what we've got. And that's really what we don't want. We want breaks in the cloud on the horizon. So um, never mind. I've had a good day. A much better day than yesterday and hopefully I'll salvage something out of this two-day visit to the Peak District uh, to the Roaches. Um, so if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and your continued support and um, do like and do share and all those sorts of things and I'll see you for the next adventure. Bye for now.